Okay, so after you have downloaded, after you have created your web project, let's try to bring in this JT400 package. So we will right click on the week, whichever project you are creating, and we will going to bring it in our properties folder. Then we will gonna go under Java build path and under libraries, we will add the external jars. And this will be my JT400 file that will be added to the external jar. We're gonna click OK. Uh, you go to, uh, in the properties, you click on Java build path. And in the Java build path, in the libraries tab, you bring in add external jars. <clears throat> Done? Okay. The next thing is, if you expand on web contents, you will notice that under web INF, there is a classes folder, right? So when we started working with Java beans, this is where after the classes are compiled and sourced, that's where they will be copied to the classes folder. And that's where all the class files will be. Okay, So we need to bring all the class package into the classes folder. Okay, So what we'll do is we'll right click on classes and we will going to start the import process. And let me import from the general an archive file because it's a jar file, it's a Java archive file. So that's why we need to import an archive file. So we click next, browse, we look for the same JT400 file, and then we hit finish. So as a result of that, the entire package is available in the classes folder. So when I build my path, he can see it, he can read it.